Hey guys, this is Jared here, and I have uh, something a little bit special for you. I've never seen this before done on uh, YouTube, at least, and uh, haven't looked anywhere else. What it is, is a one-wide, fully stackable piston, uh, or not piston, uh, pulse lengthener, or pulse extender, depending on which way you want to think about it. Uh, all that does is, as you would expect, is it takes a signal from your button and it extends it to however long you you make this to be. So if I go over here, this one will deter this one will uh, kind of show how long the button is being pressed for, and then this one is going to be shown how long the output is with the pul extended pulse. So here we are. Let's look at this. That one's already off, and now that one's done. And it's not even that long, and it got it like basically doubled that signal just there. So um, then we have this one. This one's about three times as long, and it's kind of cool. This is why I'm recording at night, because you can kind of see it. I'm going to destroy these just so I can see it a little better. And um, I'm going to push this button again. We have the uh, one right here to show you how long the button is, and then this one to show you how long the signal is. So this one has to go through a bunch of uh, repeaters to get to the output. Um, but yeah, now it's off. So it obviously it took quite a while to get through, um, even to start the signal, but that's because it has to go through every other um, extended pulse thing. I said that really horribly, but every time it, it goes through one of these, it has to go to a, a repeater, and each one of these has to go... Um, basically it has to go through the top repeater, then it gets to here, and then every so often it will power this um, block right here, which will power this one, and then um, activate this. But it's also, um, since the top line is being powered by these ones, like right here, it's being powered by, um, by this one, and this one's being powered as well. So it just kind of extends the poles and it has to work its way off from this point on and I, I I did explain that really badly, but uh, I uh, think that's probably the best I'm going to be able to do that with my vocabulary skill skills I have uh, as of late. Blah, blah, blah. So um, right here, these ones are automatically on because it's inverted right here. But you might think that this button is going to be interfering with it, and it would be if this signal, if it if it reached here by that time, but it actually reaches here right after the button's off. So uh, here we are. It's fully stackable. As you can see, this one's off, that one's not. This one, I'll do it with this one. That one's off right now, and that one's, that one's not. So it's fully stackable. The redstone dust has to be alternated, though. So you'll see that this one is um, redstone dust, and this one is redstone repeater, and then it's vice versa right here. Um, so here's a kind of more basic way to show you how to um, get it fully stackable. There's one little thing that you're going to have to do other than uh, alternating which which way it is. So here we are. This one's working. You can see it's working. It's extending. It's not very long, but um, it's because this whole design isn't very long. But right here, you'll notice that this one has to be a repeater. And uh, the actual extending point, since this one, there's no repeater right there, is right here. So um, it's one thing you're going to have to do is make sure that the starting pulse has to be a uh, redstone dust. And if this one were redstone dust, then it would interfere with this line and it would both extend. So you don't want that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, ex we have to put the bottom one on full delay, the one on top on uh, as little delay as possible, so only one tick. Then you just want to kind of make a zigzag line of whatever block and I'm going to continue on with this pattern and you want to place on the bottom part you want to place uh, a redstone repeater on four delay and then you want to place a uh, redstone dust on every other side so um, right here since how, how it's going to connect I need to have this one just slightly longer because um, um, I'm sorry, because it's going to uh, interfere with that line. So what I'm going to have to do is do something like this. I'm going to have to put a redstone, uh, redstone repeater, uh, redstone repeater right here on four, and do that. Redstone dust, and then I'm going to have to have a, a torch right here, block on top of that, torch on the side, and then um, onto the one this is how you make it one wide 
is uh, I'm going to just use all repeaters since I used all uh, dust on this one. You have to either alternate individual ones like every other block, like this one and this one. You're going to have to use either repeaters or all of them on one of them, not the other. So basically, we just don't want it to interfere with this line. Uh, and then we don't want this line to inter this torch to power this block to power this. So this one also has to be a uh, repeater. And I'm just going to add a block right there. And I think it's actually going to interfere with the other one. Nope. Cool. So that's how you, that's how you do it. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope this is helpful. Have a great day. Bye.